Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate areas when we're given a, an approximate measure of the dimensions. And as you can see in this question, we're told a bathroom floor measures 320 centimetres by 240 centimetres to the nearest 10 centimetres. So it's an approximation of these two lengths. These aren't exact. And what that means is that the length can be anywhere between 315 and 325 centimetres and the breadth can be anywhere between 235 and 245. The question asks, calculate the greatest possible area of the floor. But what we are going to do is take a look at both the least and the greatest. So you can see both ends of this sort of question. Now the very first thing we'll look at is the least. As I said already, the breadth of the floor could be as little as 235 centimetres in order to be rounded up to 240 when we're taking it to the nearest 10 centimetres. If it was 234, then the nearest 10 centimetres would be 230 and not 240. So 235 is lower bound of what this particular measurement could be. And in the same light, the lowest length it could be is 315 because any lower than that, say down to 314, then the nearest 10 centimetre would be 310 and not 320. So what does that give us? Well, the minimum area will therefore be 235 times 315, which would give us 74,025 centimetres squared. Now moving on, we can have a look at what happens when we have the greatest possible lengths and breadths. So in this case, the greatest possible breadth would be 245 centimetres. Now any bigger than that, 246 say, and then rounding it to the nearest 10 centimetres would take it to 250. So we need it to be no more than 245, so it rounds down to 240. And the same with a length, 325 is the biggest length it could be. Any more than that, 326 and it will take it up to 330 when we round it to the nearest 10. 325 is therefore the biggest possible length that we can have for this while still being able to round it down to 320 centimetres. So let's see what that gives us. The maximum area will therefore be 245 times 325 which will give us 79,625 centimetres squared. Thank you for listening.